Today we will study lesson number two in unit one that we talked about before, which is talking about levers. But now we need to make, to make a revision for the uh, previous part. Uh, let's remember what's meant by lever. The lever is a rigid bar, rotated around fulcrum, and uh, affected by two forces, effort force and resistance force. But now we need to know what are the distance between effort force and uh, fulcrum and the, resist the distance between resistance and fulcrum. We can call it force arm, so effort force and fulcrum, so it belongs to effort force. It will be force arm. But here, resistance, so it will be from this distance between resistance and fulcrum, it will be resistance arm. So let's make to know the definition. Here, effort force arm, it is the distance between fulcrum and effort force. Resistance arm, it is the distance between fulcrum and resistance force. So it's very, very simple. When you're talking about force arm, so fulcrum and effort force. Fulcrum is the common. When talking about resistance arm, so it's between fulcrum and resistance force. Okay. We need to know that uh, what are the importance of levers? Yes, I know that we are talking about it before, but we need to, speci to specify our talking about uh, the first point in the, fir in the importance of levers, which was about increasing the force. Or the levers, we can't use it in, uh, in, we, in, we can't use it in increasing the force, but we have conditions. Before we know these conditions, we have to know what's, what are the laws of levers, or what is law of lever. To deduce this law, we can get different value for effort force and for force R, resistance and resistance R. And we make times between force and its R, and resistance times its R. And they try to find the relation between force and its arm and uh, with resistance times its arm. So we, make, we need to know the relation between force times its arm and resistance times its arm. Let's talk about the first line. Here in the first line we have what we have. Force. The force here, 50 Newton. So it was force. So this force to join it with Newton. Force arm distance. So it may be with centimeter or meter. Okay, we we'll find that the force arm 40 centimeter. And if we calculate the resistance, so it will buy 50 Newton. Resistance arm 40 centimeter. Okay, this is our given. But what is the result between force times its R? It, we find it well, the, uh, the result of this equation is 2000. Okay, to calculate the, the times between result, resistance and resistance R, we find it also equal 2000. So it may be by chance, yani, it's not real. Study another example. Force 60 newton, force arm 30 newton, 30 centimeter, resistance 120 newton, resistance arm 50, 15 centimeter. We find that force times its arm value equal 1,800, and resistance times its arm equal 1,800. So they are equals. Also. Take another example, maybe they are different here. 70 Newton force, 20 centimeter force arm, 35 Newton resistance, 40 centimeter resistance arm. Also, they are equal 1400, 1400. The last example 20 Newton force, 10, 10, uh, 10 centimeter in force arm, 25 Newton in, arm in resistance, and 8 centimeter in R resistance arm, they are also equal to 100 and 200. So we have here the relation is equal, the relation equal. 
So from that, we get the rule, the general rule, which is force times its arm equal resistance times its arm. And this is general. So this is called what? This is called the law of levers. So we can say that the law of levers equal R or R, force times its arm equal resistance times its arm. And note that force and R, force, uh, effort force and resistance, they, their units with Newton. And force arm and resistance arm, unit with centimeter or meter. Why? Because they are what? They are distance. Okay. Now, remember this law because we will use it in the next, what? Next examples. This is a problem. Here we have fulcrum, effort force, and resistance. From the opposite figure, calculate the effort force. So we can, we have here, we need to know. We have to know three known and one unknown. So here, at the first step, we write the law. Don't forget it. The first step, write the law. Force times its arm equal resistance times its arm. Yes. Effort force. Where is the effort force here? Oh, this is the unknown one here. There are question mark. So we can write it with the symbol. Where is the its arm? Its arm with what? Its arm of force. Where is it? Five or ten? We said that. Effort force arm. The distance between effort force and fulcrum. It equal five centimeter. So it's, it's arm five centimeter. Equal. Don't forget to write the equal. R. Which R? Yes. Twenty newton. Twenty newton. Its arm not five, but a. 10, yes, 10 centimeters. So, very simply, we can calculate it to get uh, the effort force in one side and the other numbers to the other side. So, effort force equal 20 times 10 over or divided 5. And the result will be 40. And stop here. We have to write the unit. Don't forget to write the unit. We're talking about force. So force or arm, Newton. If we have here arm, so it will be centimeter or meter. Okay. Here we have a draw or a figure. If we didn't have a figure, how we can calculate this part? So this is effort force affecting a second class lever equals 10, 100 Newton. So in the draft here, we write that force equal 100 Newton. Okay, this is the first number. Let's complete. The force arm length equal 20 centimeter, 25. Okay, stop. Force arm equal 25 centimeter. Continue. Okay, we stop here. And the resistance equal 500 Newton. We write that resistance equal 500 Newton. There are three, so we have to get another one. Calculate the resistance arm. So the unknown was, was what? Yes, resistance arm. This is the unknown. The first step, don't forget it. Write the rule. Force times.